Hey yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Tylarius and this video is your official taxi work business and money guide. How to start it, how to get it going, making money with taxi work, everything, okay? Now if you enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like, make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss out any future content, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. It's simple. All you need to do is go to the downtown cab company. It's easy to find. It's directly south of the casino. All right, and there's also going to be a little arm wrestling station here as well. But you go to the downtown cab company and you just walk into the Corona ring by the door and you can start the taxi work like that. All right, that's what you need to do at the beginning. All right, you'll get your uh, quote unquote license, right? It says that the downtown cab company is now open for business. Begin taxi work from here. Or if you're in a cab already, you can start taxi work by lightly pressing the R3 or the right joystick. So let me be clear, you do not need to own a taxi cab to do taxi work. You just have to go to the downtown cab company and then walk into the Corona ring and start it like that, all right? Now, if you do own one, we'll talk about that in just a moment. So it's simple. Once you start the work, the dispatcher will call you, tell you that you have a fare or a person to pick up, a customer. Uh, you go to that location, you pick them up by just honking the horn, and then you drive to their location, okay? It's usually between one, maybe two and a half, three miles tops, nothing crazy. And if you notice the bottom right corner of the screen, you have a fare price and then you have a tip price. That's what you'll be getting paid. Now, they will go up. You do earn more, but they both cap out at 10 fares. The most I've seen is 136 for the fare and 2000 for your tip, all right? And that price will go down if you damage the vehicle or if you take too long, too much time uh, for the actual cab delivery. There are two new awards with the taxi cab business. The taxi driver, you get the platinum by completing 50 fares. And then you have the five-star ride by completing 10 taxi cab fares in a row. You can't stop or get destroyed, killed, whatever. You gotta do them all in a row. And it doesn't take that long, really, to be honest, okay? So once you drop off your customer, the dispatcher will, within a couple of seconds, let you know that you have a new fare to pick up or a new customer to pick up, all right? So you just go to that location and you rinse and repeat, all right? Again, your payment is affected by how long the taxi cab ride takes and how much damage you take while on that particular trip. Okay, now to track your progress after you drop off a customer, a little box will pop up above your map letting you know how many fares you've completed, but it only works for that particular stretch. It'll reset once you start or end the uh, taxi cab, uh, you know, work or whatever. Then it will restart from fresh once you start it back up again. Now, you don't get a lot of protection in the taxi cab. There's very little protection at all. Now, you cannot be locked on to, which is nice. Uh, but you can easily be shot from the vehicle or the vehicle can be destroyed. You can do taxi cab work in any lobby. You just cannot be passive or NAMC or CEO. To stop taxi cab work, all you got to do is hold down the triangle or the Y button on your console controllers or whatever button on PC to exit a vehicle or enter a vehicle, okay? Uh, the pricing for the taxi cab that you can buy in the game, 650000 for the buy it now price and 487500 for the trade price. You unlock the trade price by completing 10 taxi cab fares in a row, all right? And again, you don't have to own a taxi cab uh, to do this work, okay? You can also use the Arena War Taxi Cab. You unlock the Arena War Taxi Cab by reaching sponsorship level 25. And you do that by accumulating 4,250 AP points. All right, I'll have a separate video on how to get the Arena War Taxi Cab a little bit later on. All right. It does not matter which taxi cab you own, however, they are both Pegasus vehicles. So you cannot modify them except for just adding a ignition bomb. And you cannot use any of your personal vehicles that you can modify into a taxi cab look-alike with the liveries. Those won't work for the taxi cab business. Now, there is no difference between the blue and yellow taxi cab that you purchase and one that you will steal. Uh, they are exactly the same performance-wise. I'm driving uh, the taxi cab that I purchased, and I'm racing against one that was stolen from the taxi cab company. There's no difference in performance and speed. However... The Arena War Taxi Cab is dramatically faster than the standard taxi cab. It does already have modifications 
in the vehicle. It already has performance upgrades when you get this vehicle from the Arena Ward. So it is important if you have the Arena Ward taxi, which is the red and black one, you want to use this taxi for your taxi work, okay? You just call up the vehicle from Pegasus. You lightly press the R3 button. And what I mean by lightly is to start the you know the, the taxi cab business in your own taxi cab, you have to mash down the right joystick. But if you change the position of your view to where it's looking back, that's too hard. You just have to very lightly you know, tap it or mash it, and then that will start off the bit. It's kind of weird why they do that. I don't know, but this is the way it is. But yes, the Arena War Taxi Cab is much faster, and that's the one you want to use, okay? Um, there's a few tests. If you shoot your uh, your customer or you run them over, it, you know your taxi work will be done. It has failed, uh, so keep that in mind, okay? But to conclude with this video and the taxi cab work, uh, this is by no means a great way to make money. This is basically a RP um, you know, addition to GTA 5 Online. And what I mean by RP is that it's a role play, right? You're role playing as a taxi cab driver. I silently had a lot of hopes for this. I was really looking forward to this addition because it brings me back to the old school, you know, GTA 3 days, you know, Chinatown. And I just thought that Rockstar could have added so much more. I'm going to have a separate video talking about this. Um, I don't want to, you know, go too deep into it with this, but I really think it, this is a missed opportunity. Um, it's not going to be this, you know, somebody said that this is going to be a dead business. This was never really going to be a living business. This is just something to do to break up the time, um, you know, kind of mess around a little bit. You'll get your awards unlocked and you'll probably not fool with it. Rockstar may, you know, have in the future a few, you know, things to, you know, get like a livery for doing so many blah, 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 whatever kind of things like that. Right. Um, but I just had a lot of hopes for this. I wanted it to be more. But it is what it is. And again, I'm going to talk about what the taxi cab business could have been in a different video. So look out for that as well. But, you know, I don't hate it. I don't. It is kind of fun just playing around as a taxi cab guy. You can't be in a public lobby, though. You'll definitely get griefed. Um, so keep that in mind. There's really no bonuses that I see from being in a public lobby. Um, so, yeah, there it is. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped out. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for the Illus Reels content. The game smash. I mean, it's must smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Peace out. Yeah.